my name is Andreas Pritz. I'm 33 years old. I'm from the very north of Norway. So it's uh, 2,000 kilometers further north than Oslo. So it's quite a bit. And um, basically my wife is uh, from Litauen. So that's how I found the school. And um, yeah, we've been here now two and a half years, enjoying every moment. It was uh, just this uh, floating dream far away in the distance seemed um, unachievable. But then, uh, you know, when you start researching a bit and trying to think it's, it's a dream that's possible to follow, you, you just find a way. And uh, I started out first in Norway, found a way, didn't work. <laughs> so uh, luckily my wife guided me here and it's been working perfectly ever since. Well, Lithuan Lithuania compared to Norway, I would say is more or less the same, just different uh, language. So, uh, and while in school, you know, you're very busy, so it's uh, basically to school and home, and uh, that's more or less it. Especially if you have a wife and a child. <laughs> so you have to take the, uh, the opportunities you get to practice as much as possible. And, but luckily here, you know, we have uh, nice weather, the whole flying seasons. Yeah, my first solo was in Norway on the Cessna 172. And then after coming here, you know, we start with a smaller Technum, so it was uh, a bit different. I think a, a nice experience to start with a more basic and, uh, you know, normal uh, cockpit, not the G1000. And um, so then the transaction over to the Cessna with, uh, you know, with the G1000, it's uh, a nice thing. So it's something you look forward to in the last part of the Technum and makes it uh, interesting. Difficult to say what I like most, but uh, to actu actually fly and feel the plane, the flying, that you're in control of it, it's something I, I really enjoy. Unfortunately, this part of my training, you know, is all about staying stable, not losing any uh, extra feet, so not so much, it's instrument. But um, later on, I'm gonna get to uh, play a bit on my own time. <laughs> 